Hi, this is Jonathan with another SQL Skills Insider Demo Video. This video will continue the series of free tools to help you with managing and troubleshooting SQL Server as a DBA by taking a look at how to use Plan Explorer, a completely free tool provided by SQL Sentry to analyze execution plans generated by SQL Server. Now I know that some of you may be hesitant to try something provided by a third party vendor, but in this case there are seriously no strings attached. You can download a copy of Plan Explorer without providing any information at all. They don't even ask for an email address because there's no marketing uh, follow-up that's going to happen as a result of you downloading it. All you have to do is go to the SQL Sentry site, uh, click Products, uh, Free SQL Sentry Plan Explorer, and then scroll down and select the appropriate bits for your environment, and it will download directly with no sign-in, no, no any information required to get this product. Um, it also has full documentation that you can download or view online, um, and there is a change list that they publish for each of the build changes that come out associated with the product. One of the really cool features that they recently added was the uh, a new SSMS add-in um, that will allow you to open execution plans from inside of Management Studio and have the data transferred to uh, Plan Explorer so that you can look at it at more depth there. So to start things off, let's take a look at one of my favorite execution plans from the past. Um, I call it the really bad plan, um, and it's been run through my plan sanitizer. I, I had to get permission to be able to make use of this execution plan uh, in the past, and it's, it's an old favorite of mine because it uh, typically will slow down Management Studio inside of an environment because of the size. And if we click on the plus sign down here, which allows us to get a global view of our plan, you'll see just how large and complex this plan actually is. Um, and I actually had to go through a performance tuning uh, exercise associated with this plan in real life. And it was really, really challenging to be able to do so. Um, and this is a plan that actually taught me the real value of Plan Explorer because I, I jumped out to Plan Explorer and said, well, let's, let's just see what Plan Explorer can do after having seen a demo of it. And um, it actually helped me pinpoint some really key areas uh, for performance with this uh, in real life. And I, I became a, a true believer uh, in the power of Plan Explorer, and I've used it ever since for all of my tuning efforts. So what we can do is we can right click, do view as view with SQL Sentry Plan Explorer, and Plan Explorer will open up. Um, and if you're interested in, in learning more about what Plan Explorer can do, I will point out there is a blog post by my good friend Aaron Bertrand. Um, and in this blog post, there is a download kit that you can download to go through all of the demos and everything that, that Aaron points out. And I'll point out a number of these features as a part of this Insider Demo video, but I would, I would definitely recommend that you go to Aaron's blog, blog uh, and click the uh, Plan Explorer link that he has and find the, down, uh, the demo kit and download it because it will let you step through with all the instructions that Aaron's provided the plans and be able to see this stuff in, in real time and get a good feel for how this tool is going to help you out inside of your environment. Um, it was a, a great tool for me to be able to learn how to use it. So the first thing uh, with Plan Explorer that you should notice between Management Studio is we have a more collapsed view of what's going on in our environment. Um, we can see the, the immediate nodes associated with this nested loops uh, key lookup that's actually happening inside of um, our plan. And we can scroll over and we can see a whole lot more information immediately that's readily available. Another thing I would point out is that we have uh, estimated or actual rows, row counts associated with each of the arrows, uh, which the arrows are data movement inside of our environment. So we can immediately start to see what's going on without actually having to hover over, hover over the arrows inside of Management Studio to see the exact same information. So really, really powerful. Uh, view of the information there. Our key lookups are going to be highlighted in orange to make those stand out to us and all of our scans are going to be highlighted in yellow here so that those will stand out to us as well as operations. Now one of the things that you might want to know is what's the most expensive operation in our plan um, and we could make an effort of trying to scroll through the plan and keep keep a mental tab on what we have as far as costs go for each of our operations or we can go into uh, Plan Explorer Top Operations 
and what this does is it lists out our top operations by their cost and if we click on key lookup and then go back to our plan diagram we can see right there um, that that's highlighted in our diagram for us and this specific key lookup um, is highlighted with red as being the most expensive operator in the environment so for this plan that didn't give me a whole lot of information uh, because uh, it actually wasn't something that I could necessarily make a lot of effect on uh, for this plan. Now I could go add a covering index um, and if there was missing index information it would be shown here but for this particular schema adding an index wasn't necessarily the right fix. Um, one thing that may be interesting to look at is the join diagram and if we click on the join diagram here and what I'll do is I will jump out to the the larger view you'll see there's lots of tables involved here and what the true problem for this particular query that I was looking at was was that it used uh, a bunch of what I like to call can views that are provided by a a third-party vendor to provide easy access to data and those views were joined to each other recursively inside of this environment to the point that a lot of tables were being accessed to have to materialize what was going on inside of the environment and when I actually went down to tune this query I was able to get the correct results uh, in a repeatable fashion by only joining seven tables out of what you see listed here uh, to get that that result and the way I did that was by breaking everything that was going on down and figuring out what the base tables were that I had to go off of so by going to the join diagram we can start to see just how complex this becomes and we can start you know kind of isolating where our problem is and maybe being able to understand what's going on inside of the query a whole lot easier now if we jump back to the plan diagram a couple of things that I want to call out uh, that really make plan explorer just a phenomenal tool for for looking at execution plans and doing analysis and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll this up and scroll this up so that I can collapse this down. Um, the first thing that I would point out is we have per node costs which are typical for Management Studio but we can also flip over to having cumulative costs and if we change our view to have cumulative costs we can see immediately that this branch is where a lot of our cost comes in and we can follow that down and see that it just progresses down through the plan and we can actually track this all the way down through our expensive uh, branch costs to find where our, our real cost comes in. Now the other view that I'd like to point out is that our costs here are CPU and I.O. based but if we just want to look at strictly I.O. let's say that this is hammering our I.O. subsystem and we want to know where the I.O. cost is if we go to I.O. cost we immediately see okay well this used to be the most expensive branch because it included CPU but now purely I.O. based we can see that this is our our expensive view and what we can also do is our line width is the number of rows that are moving from operator to operator but if we change our, our line width to be data size and megabytes that changes our view back and now we can see we have lots of I.O. data wise coming through and flowing through our operations and this is a really really useful view for being able to get a, an idea of where our IO is coming from and what the the end result of those IOs are one of the typical things that I see is where we have a really fat line that feeds in and what we end up this plan doesn't show it very well but we we have a big fat line like this that results in a really thin line like this coming back out and typically that's a sign when we have a really large plan of a, a potential place that if there's an aggregation going on we could early aggregate some of the data and reduce what's flowing up through our operators inside of the environment and make better use of of the database engine for being able to early aggregate the data and then join back out I do a lot of this work with uh, data warehouse type environments uh, where we have large fact tables that we want to aggregate uh, data from and then we want to join out to our dimensions to be able to pull additional attributes in uh, about our key values that are contained inside of our fact table so it's a really really easy way to to reduce the amount of IO that's going through especially when we have hashes that are going to spill through tempdb with large amounts of data the other thing that I like to do um, is have full object name 
resolution turned on. Now this is going to take up more of the, the landscaping or more space inside of the screen, but I typically want to see my table name and my index name as a whole, uh, whole rather than just having a uh, truncated version like this because I may have similarly named indexes inside of my environment uh, that may have a, a specific naming schema. For example, ix underscore table name underscore key column name um, and then any additional naming inside of the naming convention <coughs> and that will usually not yield useful information without having full name resolution turned on. So I know this is a fairly short demo, but I hope this has shown you how useful SQL Century Plan Explorer is for analyzing execution plans generated by SQL Server. I would definitely recommend that you go download Aaron Bertrand's demo kit and work through all of the demos because there's so much more power inside of this tool. Um, I, could, I could spend a half hour easy talking about everything that you could do with this tool running through all the demos. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching and thanks for being a SQL Skills Insider.